Today, I'll walk you through how you can download your entire WordPress media library, and I'll show you a couple of different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. So let's dive in. The first method actually goes above and beyond just your media library. It will allow you to download an entire WordPress database or a WordPress website and make a backup, including the media file library. So let's head over to our plugins and go ahead, add new. The plugin we're looking for is called Duplicator. And it, this is a great plugin for backing up your site, for migrating your site. It's one of my favorites if I am migrating. So let's go ahead and install this and we will activate it as well. Once it's activated, I want to create your first package and let's go ahead and name it. And let's click next and we'll go through the process of scanning the site. Ideally, you're looking for all good here. If there's anything that doesn't show good, then you'll want to go in and try and fix that with their documentation. So now let's go ahead and click build and it'll go through and build the whole package of the backup. Once it's done, you'll see that the package is completed, gives you how long it took and you have the option of what all do you want to download. We want to download both files. So we're going to click on this item and we'll download both items. You may get a warning on your Chrome or your browser asking if you can download multiple items. Go ahead and say yes to that. Now this zip file has all of your content for your website. So then you can move it over if you want. If you go into the zip file, go into content, go into uploads, then you can see all of the images that we just downloaded. And now real quick to show you, I'm going to extract this. Ideally, you're going to use this where you're moving or migrating, but we wanted to see all of the media files. You can extract the zip file and we'll take a look at the media files. Now the archive will have all of your WordPress database, including your media content or your media library. You can see that by going into the folder. If you unzip it, you can go into WP content, look for uploads. That's where they're uploaded. And most people will have it in broken out by month and year. You can see that. And then these are all of the media files that I wanted to download. The next method is by doing your entire media library from your WordPress back end and importing it to another area. Sometimes we don't recommend this simply because it's downloading your content via an XML file. And so you can't really see your content. You only are able to import it into another WordPress installation. But if that's all you need, then this will work for you. So to do that, we're going to head over to tools. We want to go to export. And this is what you want to choose media, just all of the media that you want and download export file. And this will download your XML file that also has all your images included in that, but you really can't tell or you really can't read it. And if you want to learn more about how to remove a background in an image, watch this video next as we walk you through how you can remove the background from your image for free. And I'll see you over there.